Hi guys, so today we'll be reading the book called Sardines of Love by Zurinye Aguirre. Sardines of Love. Once upon a time, there was a grandfather called Lolo. He loved eating sardines. This is Lolo. And apparently he just finished eating a sardine. He liked to eat them roasted in the oven or cooked on the grill. He liked them fresh and he liked them in cans. He only ever left the bones. He fished for sardines every single day. Sometimes he fished with his rod near the lighthouse. This is the lighthouse and he's going fishing. Other times he fished for sardines from his boat on the ocean. Jeff the octopus always came along. This is Jeff the octopus's arm. Grandmother Lola sold sardines every day in her fish shop. This is Grandmother Lola. She hated sardines, but she cooked them every day for Grandfather Lolo. She's wearing a clothespin because it smells weird. One day, Lola sold all the sardines in her shop. Oh no, she didn't want Lola to go hungry, so she took her rod and went fishing. Soon she felt a big tug. A big sardine was pulling on the line, pulling hard on the line, too hard. Hard enough to send Lola flying through the air straight into Jeff's mouth. That's a funny picture. Wow, this belly is like a house. The hours passed. Lola began to feel hungry, but there were only sardines in Jeff's belly. Lots and lots of sardines. Back at home, Lola was worried. He did not know where Lola was. He looked for her and waited and looked again, but Lola did not return. Lola was getting really hungry. She was so hungry she tried a sardine, then another and another. To her surprise, they were really tasty. Lola was feeling, was feeling very sad without Lola. He started to cry. In Jeff's belly, Lola tried frying sardines. Lola tried frying sardines. She made sardine jelly and she baked a sardine cake. She cooked sardine pizza and froze some sardine ice pops. Meanwhile, Lolo could not stop crying. He's crying so much. He's filling like his entire room. He cried so much that he began to float in his own tears. I can't tell if that's the ocean or an ocean of his own tears. He floated on his tears all the way to the ocean. Look. He's sleeping, I think, on Jeff the Octopus's arm, and she's like, yay, I found him. And he found Lola again. Now they were even happier than before. They had all they ever needed, love and sardines. But the octopus is making a heart with its arms. The end.